The biggest reason you are missing short putts is because you don't have good face control. Well, you've come to the right place because today I'm going to give you a perfect drill and show you a cool new training aid that can improve your face control and is going to help you make those short putts. I'm PGA Teaching Professional Todd Kolb, Director of Instruction for US Golf TV, and there's nothing more frustrating than missing a three footer, a four footer, or a five footer. But I know this from 25 years of coaching and teaching that the biggest reason we miss short putts is because the face is not square to where we want the golf ball to start. It's open, it's closed, it's moving, it's rotating. So what can we do to actually improve that? Well, first of all, I wanna talk about this concept here before I give you the, the, the drill and I show you a new training aid. And that is that I believe it's better, okay, this can be a little different, a little controversial than what you might have heard, but I think it's better if when you move the putter back, the putter is actually slightly closed. Because what I see most often is when amateur golfers miss putts, they rotate the face too much going back and they try to re-rotate it going through. And some would argue, and there's probably some truth to that, that there is some rotation to the putter face. I'm not gonna sit here and debate that. But what I will say is that Far too many golfers miss putts to the right. Okay, if you're a right-handed golfer, I want you to think about that and maybe leave it in the comments because you know I love hearing from you. I love hearing where you're from, all right? Give a shout out to my man, Nick. Let's see it from Nick. Give him a thumbs up. There he is, all right? Okay, because we're putting content out, so ring the bell, subscribe to our channel. But think about the putts that you miss. If you're a right-handed golfer, do you miss more putts to the right or to the left? Okay, my guess is probably to the right because the face is open. All right, and when you swing the putter back, when you rotate the face open, you gotta re-rotate it closed. So what I would like to see you do is actually feel like you slightly shut the face. So let me show you this drill. I call it the load, okay, and go. Load and go. So here's how it's gonna work. I'm gonna just hold the putter in my trail hand, which is my right hand, it's my dominant putter. Oh, excuse me, it's my dominant hand, holding that. And when I swing it back, I'm gonna slightly load the putter. See how I slightly move the butt end of the putter shaft towards the target? I call that loading, okay? And I want the face to slightly shut in the backswing. So I'm gonna load and shut, and then I'm gonna hold it going through. Let me just go ahead and, let me just roll a putt right here. So right hand only, or trail hand only, okay? Load it and shut it, and then I'm just gonna hold it. Here we go, load and shut. Okay, made it. I don't know if Nick picked that up. Did he pick it up? All right, gave me the thumbs up, he picked it up. Let me do it one more time, all right? Load it and shut it, okay? And then we're gonna talk about why that's important. All right, here we go, load and shut it. Okay, that one I could tell you release a little bit and turn it over. Now, why is that helpful? Well, because most people, when you miss putts, it's you're adding too much loft. We talked about that. The face is open and you're adding loft and the ball hops and it skips, all right? So when you actually shut it down a little bit in the backswing, okay, then you can hold it going through. I think that's a better way to do that. All right, so that's the drill. Now, let me share with you this new it's pretty revolutionary training device that one of my good friends sent me. It's from Par Perfect Golf. Um, it's one of my buddies I played college golf with. He was a good putter. I don't know if he beat me in college or not, but I'll have to look back in the history books and take a look at that. But he's, his concept is very similar to like what I was just talking about here. He believes that the putter should swing actually in, okay, and close slightly the putter face, or say close or relatively square to that arc, and then kind of hold it off going through. Matter of fact, when I talked to him on the phone, they did a ton of testing, worked with some of the top instructors, putting instructors in the game, and they tested all the best players in the world, and that's what they found. The best players actually swing the putter slightly in and shut the face, and then kind of hold it off. So here we go, Let me. so I've got a ball in here, I've got it set up, I've already read the putt and got it lined up for us, and a couple things you're gonna notice here. I'm gonna put it right back, put the putter on the red line, but when I swing it back, Okay, we've talked a little bit about the arc. I did a whole other video on arcing, pizza slice, a couple great, great drills. Check those out if you haven't already. But there's three red lines on here. Look, matter of fact, I'm gonna switch it up on Nick here. Keep him guessing. I'm gonna take that ball out of there. So at address, I'm square to the start line. But when I take it back, the putter arcs, and I'm gonna stop right here. And you'll notice how the putter face is square to that arc, but it actually feels a little closed, probably what that I'm used to. Most of us would take it back straight and rotate the face. So I'm gonna feel like the putter goes on the arc and actually feels like it shuts a little bit. And then when it goes through, there's the face right there also. Almost feel like I'm kind of holding it off. Let me go ahead and do it a little quicker. All right, so it's back and cl feels closed, but it's square to the arc. 
and then I kind of hold it going through. See that motion? That's different than, watch this. That's different than straight back, rotate, straight back and through. Let me go ahead and just slide a ball in here and hit a putt. All right, put it right in there. Got my putter face square to my start line on the arc. Feels a little in and closed. Ooh, snuck it in the side pocket there. So the biggest reason most people are missing short putts is face control. I think for the vast majority of golfers out there, you're better off to work it in a little bit and shut it slightly and hold it off than you are trying to swing it straight back and rotate it. I hope this little tip right here helps you make some more short putts.